about fighting in the Today we're going to be taking the PMDG 737-700 from Denver down to San Jose, California. Um, it's a relatively short flight over to San Jose. And as you can see, we are using the buggy but somewhat working GSX mod that was just released from Microsoft Flight Simulator. So we're going to be taking this aircraft to San Jose. We are loading the passengers on currently. You can hear them uh, going through the jetway. I also have been hearing um, about crash to desktops recently in the sim. I'm not exactly sure if that's GSX related or on the uh, sim side of things, um, but I'm going to be looking out for any crashes um, in the sim that I have, and I'll let you guys know if I have any issues. All right, welcome into the cockpit of the PMG G737. As you can see, we just have uh, the battery on. Let's go ahead and connect our ground power for the aircraft. We're going to arm our emergency exit lights. And our position lights are already on. Window heats. And we need to unline our IRSs. All right, we have all of our screens on. We can head down here and enter in our IRS position. We are currently at Denver. We can drop this position in here. And I'm going to pull up our Simbri flight plan and get it loaded into here. While we are waiting for our weights to come into the uh, FMC, I'm going to go ahead and fire up our APU. All right, APU is started. All right, we're going to be doing flaps 15 for takeoff. Drop our CG in there, and V1 is going to be 125, VR 125, and V2 is 129. Set up here, get our flight directors on, auto throttle, we're going to set our cruising altitude. Alright, we are cruising at flight level 380. Got that set in there. And we're going to add 10 to our V2, which is going to be 139. Right, the altimeter over here in Denver is going to be 3015. We have that set there. And I'm going to go ahead and hook up uh, the push tug. Alright, we are starting our push. Alright, we're going to go ahead and start engine 2 first. Set parking brakes. 
Alright, we have two good engine starts. This is another bug here. Uh, the walker. They're actually supposed to be on this side of the aircraft and not walk right in front. Um, we have two good engine starts. We're going to bring flaps down to 15. All right, looks like I pushed back the aircraft in the wrong direction, so we're gonna have to uh, do a quick U-turn here. Let's get the throttles up. Alright, we are approaching the runway now. Let's go ahead and get our landing lights on, runway turn off. Show lights can come on as well. And let's alert the cabin. We are about to take off. Gotta make this right here. Turn on the runway here. We can get the chrono on. And we're going to do a rolling takeoff. Bring the throttles up to about 40%. Check slash five.
right, we're climbing out of Denver now. We got an altitude restriction here at 12,000 feet. And we're going to be climbing over the mountains here, so it might get a bit rocky. I'm not going to turn off the uh, seatbelt signs yet. And it's pretty much a straight shot um, toward the west here to the Bay Area. We'll go ahead and engage the center tanks here. Looks like we've got some fuel in there. And we can go ahead and get our landing lights off. When we turn off taxi, wheel well, wing, and we can bring the engine switches to uh, the off position. We're climbing through 19,000 here over the clouds. It's pretty interesting. Every time I fly over this section of Denver, I always see a rainbow here. If you guys watched my um, 787 Denver to the Huey video, you can actually see there was a rainbow um, as we're climbing out of Denver. Alright, we have reached our cruising altitude of flight level 380. Um, you can already see our top of the sand starting to come into view on our navigation display here. Um, but I'll check in with you guys when we are about to descend into uh, San Jose. Um, so today we're going to be landing at uh, 130, flaps 40, and our initial, de initial descent altitude is going to be flight level 280, um, so let's go ahead and get that set here. And the aircraft should automatically descend once we reach the top of descent point, and it's a pretty straight shot into San Jose. Uh, let's step through five line here. So we're pretty much coming in from the southeast, making a turn in, and then uh, straight into runway three zero left into San Jose. Uh, so it's pretty straightforward, and uh, the weather out here is pretty good, so we shouldn't have any issues with that at all. Uh, so I'll see you guys when we start our descent. It's getting a bit rocky here. 
go ahead and turn the seatbelt signs on. Might be some of these mountains over here disturbing the air a little bit. Alright, we've started our descent. Throttles are retarding. And we're starting to descend in altitude. Let's try and get down to 240. The bottom of the restriction there. It looks like we can do it without any speed break. We're descending through 16,000 feet right now. Uh, we have all of our landing lights on. Seatbelt signs are on as well. It's pretty bumpy over here. And uh, we are just about to enter the sort of valley portion of the Bay Area. You see that marine layer start to roll in from the coast. And then we're going to continue coming in from the, uh, the southwest or southeast of. Uh, San Jose and then make that turn into there uh, for our final approach. Alright, we need to adjust our speed as well. Let's hit the speed intervene button here. And we're going to get down to 230 on the speed. Get some speed brakes up so we can still continue that descent down to 8,000 feet. Set 5,000 here now. turn for the airport. You can see it's down there. We need to get down to 135 on the speed here. My aircraft. Uh, speed brakes armed. Passing over downtown here. Have speed brakes armed as well. We're a little high. It's quite bumpy over here. I'm going to take over on the throttles. Extremely displaced threshold here at San Jose. So it may look like we're super high. On approach.
Pressures. Parking brake is set. We're gonna bring the flaps up. Speed brakes get stowed. Auto brake is gonna go off. We're gonna turn off our runway turn offs, landing lights. APU can get started. And our wing will well, we don't need. We're gonna leave the strobes on because we're crossing an active runway. Get that bleed on as well. Crossing the runway here. APU is starting up as well. Aircraft is cleaned up nicely. I'm gonna take this taxiway here all the way down. Our taxi light off. We don't need this anymore. It looks like we have a marshaller over there somewhere. Yep. Alright, so we're gonna make a left here. All these vehicles like to drive into us. There's our marshaller. We're on the line. 
little to the left here on the line. See if we can get a perfect stop. Parking brake set, and we can shut down our engines. And see both sides can come off. And our anti collision light is going to come off as well. Alright, uh, that's the end of our flight. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a nice little short flight. Um, you guys can see. A little bit of what GSX has to offer, well, at least the working parts. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing more flights in the 737 in the future. So stay tuned.